Welcome to Wales, best of the west. And as part of this series, between me, Ollie and mine, we're going to take you to a couple of places across Wales. So tune in and see what the secrets are off the Welsh coast. There's some amazing dives on the Llyn Peninsula in Pothyscadan and Pothyllchain. We're on our way down to Pembrokeshire. We're going to do two more shore dives, which are spectacular, really. So we've got Martin's Haven, which is on the Dale Peninsula on the north of Pembrokeshire, and then we're going to head over to Stackpole, which is on the south Pembrokeshire coast. And both slightly different shore dives. Martin's Haven itself is situated in the Scoma Marine Reserve, and it's in a sheltered bay, and it's actually the deepest shore dive in Wales where you can get over 25 meters and then the second is Stackpole down the south of Pembrokeshire it's got a really nice coastline it's hidden away within the cliffs it'll be interesting to see what both sites offer and how they vary in species and habitat wise to compare with the Llyn Peninsula Right on the tip of the North Dale Peninsula is the small pebble beach of Martin's Haven. This small cove is full of surprises above and below the water and is one of Lloyd's favourite sites. He knows what can be found here better than anyone. Part of the Scorm Marine Nature Reserve here, so we've got shore access to the Marine Nature Reserve. We've got uh, protected marine life here, so we've got scallops, we've got cat sharks, we've got pink sea fans, which is a nice Gorgonia soft coral then just off the edge of the bay here. And it's going to be a really nice dive. Martin's Haven is a gateway to the spectacular marine life of the Skoma Marine Nature Reserve. Although people flock to the islands to see seals and puffins, it is Martin's Haven that is the jewel in the crown of the Skoma Marine Nature Reserve. Due to its protected nature, the marine life thrives here, from scallops as far as the eye can see, numerous nudibranch species, beautiful anemones and pink sea fans. Martin's Haven truly has something for everyone. It is one of my favourite Pembrokeshire shore diving sites to introduce new and existing student divers to. With Lloyd knowing the site so well, we're excited to get underwater. After checking the conditions, we prepared the cameras and kitted up, which can be done down the beach near the old winch. It also provides a good view of the site whilst doing the final checks. Even before getting in the water at Martin's Haven, there's a range of wildlife from birds such as the playful chuffs found along the cliffs to the larger ravens. Seals are often seen in the bay and later in the summer many of the coves become important sites for pupping. And it's important when visiting later in the summer when it's pupping season to keep your distance when you do see pups on the beach. Quite often on the surface, you'll see a seal or two. And as we go down, we did see a few, but we'll see if we're lucky enough that they go and play with us, because quite often they'll just come and tuck the fins or want to say hi. It'll be quite good to get some interaction with them. So if you leave the bay on the left-hand side, you do start to feel a little bit of a drift, especially as we're currently on an outgoing tide and it just gently takes us across the reef itself. So when you reach the walls that take you down the slope down to 25 metres, you see there's a variety of life on there, from seaweeds to hydroids to small sponges and large sponges too. So you can spend quite a lot of time just looking at the macro life itself as well as the larger species that are swimming or moving around and noticeably the quite large sea urchins that are just on the reef and it's quite big, they're kind of the handball size The 
sun steaming all over. You have a variety of fish that are dragging it, swimming across the top. As well as more burrowing invertebrates like the anemone, the anthus loid, which burrows into the sun. As soon as you're on the sand, you start seeing scallops straight away, hidden below the surface. And it's great to see so many. And the reason there is so many here at Martin's Haven is because it's part of the scheme of Marine Reserve. And it's illegal to take them when you can get the £50,000 fine and lose your diving gear and any vehicle used in collecting the scallops from the bay. In between those short tentacles are a load of little black and bluish tiny dots and these are the eyes of the scallops so across the mantle there's around 200 in total they're not like our eyes but within these size structures there are tiny mirrors that act like mini telescopes to help the scallops see so here we have a spiny starfish you can see all these little tube feet working away as they walk across the sand which makes them look like they're gliding and it's interesting because these large spiny starfish will predate on the scallops that are found here on the seabed. So let's see if we can find one that's going close to a scallop because as soon as it starts getting close the scallop will sense this and it'll evade it. Lloyd's <laughs> looking out to see if we can find one of these starfish doing the hunting. Even better if we can find one that's already captured a scallop. We've got a little starfish, so it's out here in the open. Just gliding across the sea floor. There's a scallop in the distance, so hopefully, after a bit of time, he'll move towards it and we get to see what a scallop does when its predator comes close. Yes! Here we go! And you can see around the shell of the scallop small little eyes that help the scallop see the surrounding environment and along with the tentacles he's helped to avoid predation from predators such as the starfish. And as you can see as the spiny starfish is within its area the scallop feels threatened so it'll start opening the two tops of the shells and when it becomes too much, the scallop will then clap these together, pushing out water and moving out of the way of the danger. The scallop is getting ready. They evade the predation by using its two top shells and clapping and pushing water, propelling the scallop out of the way. You can see it's a colonial structure, so it's a Gorgonian coral. It's a soft coral, whereas it really is a tiny little colony within here. You can just see it really closely. The little polyps, the little tentacles that will be feeding on plankton in the shining water. It's actually quite good, it's it a really nice colour, this orangey pink coloration. It's amazing to see such a structure and how complex it is. 
This is the northern limit of the species. And it's really nice to see you can do this. There's a shoulder dive and see such an amazing species. back up the reef, you can see what different things we can find. I'm not going to try to fix this. Dogfish can't do this resting behaviour. Simply because of the spiracles which are found on the side of its head, and these have to pump water across the gills. Whereas other sorts, when you think about the larger ones, they live in the pelagic zone. They have to keep swimming almost to keep the water ventilating across the gills. Haven didn't disappoint us where the viz was really good we had about three or four meters and we got most of the species that we wanted we set out to get so we got the pink sea fan where we knew it where it was tucked away in the gully and yeah it was really nice to actually see that and along the reef there was loads of different fish species we had the pollock ballon wrasse and then on the sand we had the dragonets the small gobies that were all quite inquisitive especially when we we're taking a look closer look at the scallops which we were fortunate to see some of the starfish or some of the predation towards the, the scallops by the starfish and these were the big spiny starfish. As soon as the, uh, the starfish were getting quite close to them they avoided the predation by swimming off. It was really exciting to see the range of species that are found there and again slightly different to what we have up in North Wales. So now we're off to the next dive site which is a bit further south which is down in Stackpole Quay in South Pembrokeshire. Again this will be good because we're going to try and do this one both day and night and see again how the habitats change within different species then are found in these different areas and at night but first we're going to do it in a day we're going to go and see if we can do a bit more of the reefs and see if we can find some more cat sharks because we had one today in martin's haven but it was on the reef and it's hidden away so we're excited to see what we can pick up in stackpole it's one of our last places a part of wales best of the west and they're the shore dives and again, Lloyd will give us a better idea of what there is to find in Stackpole. And after, the, after diving in the day, we'll head out there at night and see what else we can find. And yeah, it should be really good and really exciting to see if we can pick up a few more species that we haven't seen yet or part of the series. Join us as we travel south to the final site of the series, which is Stackpole Key. This shallow site has a range of different habitats to explore and you never know what will appear amongst the algae or from beneath the sand. Mm -hmm. 